we're in Lang Masui. <laughs> And uh, I kind of heard a lot of stories about strange kind of practices that go on here. <laughs> One of which is called the, the sky burial. <laughs> that could be something there. This is really weird. You know, just this ancient kind of barbaric way of uh, disposing of a body. When a person dies, they cut him into pieces as a final act of good karma and to appease the sky god, Danicus. What was that? I've never even heard of anything like this. There's clothes everywhere. There's like little kid sandals. There's bones everywhere. I mean, yeah, there's leg bones here. I mean, it looks like a slaughter happened here. Yeah. This is honestly the most troubling I've ever felt inside. What kind of place is this? <laughs> they just brought out a body, an older woman. Uh, they sliced into her, the back of the body and uh, just to cut it open. They're, they're like scaring up the, the vultures there, high above the hills. You can see them right above me here. Right now, the body is just being completely eaten by the vultures, and this is like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Inside, it's like these, this scream and this, this gross gargle that they keep admitting. The faces of the uh, vultures are all red from the blood that they just open the uh, body up with. This is a place that definitely needs uh, the light of Christ, and uh, that's why we're here, and uh, to be able to minister to uh, the monks that perform these uh, these ceremonies. Bringing the gospel to this area is so much more important. I mean, not that it wasn't before, but when you see this, it just really puts an urge in your heart. The day will come when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And we just say, Lord, may that day come, and we just proclaim it, and we believe it in the name of Jesus.